Well, thank you very much, Congressman Van Harlen. It was really an honor and a privilege to be introduced by you, and um, this is a really special day um, in so many ways. It's just um, a really defining moment for me. Um, you know, when I thought about what I was going to say today, um, was really difficult. I sat down on my computer and I started typing and that didn't work, got up, came back, sat down, started typing, got up, didn't work. And then I attended um, a friend of mine's uh, celebration of a 30th um, wedding anniversary and another friend said, you know, I once heard you say something that really resonated with me and why don't you start there? And that's exactly what I did. I went home, I sat down at my computer and suddenly it was all there. And it's all about defining moments. And we so seldom notice them as we experience them. But as a young girl growing up in South Africa, I was, I was unaware about the impact that a, a strong Jewish community, good family role models, and Jewish values would influence my future. You know, I'm sure we all try to impart to our children those things that we think are most important to us, never knowing how it's going to play out, and only hoping that whatever we've done right, or we think have done right, will somehow come back to us. Anyway, um, at that time I was very young, and the opportunity to immigrate as a young newlywed presented itself, and I was very overwhelmed wasn't something that I was planning to do with my life. I was very comfortable in my nice, safe space. And, um, but, you know, as they say, life throws things at you, and it's what you do with them when you, when you get them. The decision to leave my safe space and begin anew in a strange place filled me with a fear of losing myself and my identity in this big gray mess that was America. Uh, it really was overwhelming. I used to go to bed at night and I used to imagine this big gray cloud and somewhere in that cloud I would find a place for myself in this big country. So the time comes and we're at the airport and I walk through the security gates and the metal doors slam shut and suddenly I left everything that was pre precious to me behind. Years later, when I took time to reflect, I remembered the impact of that moment and how instrumental it was in shaping who I am today. Because from that moment, I could only move forward. And now it was up to me. What was I going to do with this opportunity? Defining moments. They beckon us to build the strength to reach higher, stretch further, and embrace change. I believe in life there are no coincidences. Too many things happen to us and people say they're beshared. They're meant to be. So picture this. I'm sitting in a Jewish Federations of North America Young Leadership Conference breakout session on families in crisis. And I landed there purely by default because I don't know if any of you have ever been to these big Jewish conferences. We like to talk and we like to schmooze and we like to hang with our friends from all over the country that we haven't seen for a long time. And that's exactly what I did. So by the time I went to my session, closed out. Big fat security guard, can't come in. So I said, OK, I'll go into the session next door. And there's probably something interesting going on there. And sure enough, this was meant to be. Because I sat shocked as I listened to a survivor tell about the domestic violence in her marriage and how her Jewish community saved her life. Tears poured down my cheeks. I sat there open-mouthed. I had this little protected, cushioned life in South Africa, and suddenly I was hearing things I didn't think were ever possible. But I guess they are. And I sat there thinking, I have two daughters and a son. I live in this big city, Washington, D.C. What is my community doing on the ground to help Jewish women who are experiencing the same things, suffering the same fate? right in my own backyard. And sadly, at that time, nothing. Why is that our problem? It's not a Jewish issue. That's the refrain I heard all too often. An unmet need, an opportunity for change, a defining moment, and I was there. You know, those pit bulls, they get their teeth into something, they don't let go. There was just no way that Washington, D.C. could not have something that helped women on the ground who were experiencing trauma every single day. My work in the Jewish community has been about being a catalyst for change. 
particularly in the lives of women and girls. And I think that's why the work that JWI does and some of the stories you've heard today have really resonated with me. Um, and this unrelenting passion gave rise to the Jewish Coalition Against Domestic Abuse and several years later, the Dikon Alam Women's Foundation. For me, these organizations harness the energy and philanthropy of women to affect change. And really, it's up to us. We are our own best advocates. If we see something that's not right, it's up to us to go out and make it different, make it better, and how can we improve it and how can we change it? And we saw some of the statistics up today on the, um, on the screens about um, young girls who go out to their first jobs and earn less than their brothers and their friends. Um, it's not right. We need to make that difference to change things. And so these organizations, the Tikkun Olam Women's Foundation, organizations like JWI and the um, Jewish Coalition Against Domestic Abuse, harness the energy and philanthropy of women to affect change. By furthering the rights of women and empowering them, we are in turn empowered. And I'm proud to say that today I work within a community that embraces change. And this is not a job one does alone. I continue to work every day in partnership with friends, colleagues, my federation community, to keep moving forward and gain enormous strength from a very supportive family. We know, as women, we can never go out there and do this without a strong support network. And wherever we find it, we bring them with us because we are strength in numbers. And so, in brief, my pearl to each of you today is this. Pay attention to those defining moments, good or bad in your life. And then go out and use them to give you the strength to engage and to create the changes you want to see, both within yourselves and in your community. Because the change that you're going to see happen isn't only out there and out there, it happens inside. And when you feel that shift, it's remarkable. And each of you in this room has the power to do that. It's not difficult, you just have to do it. You know the Nike ad, eh? just do it. It's up to you. So I thank you, I thank you for being here. I thank you for recognizing the work that I've done. It's a very humbling experience. I had the opportunity yesterday to have lunch with the women who are being honored today. They are a remarkable group of women and to be recognized amongst them is is remarkable, and I thank you. Thank you.